Hey guys, uh, today I just wanted to show you how to achieve this effect using the wave modifier. I actually got this idea from blendercookie.com. They have a tutorial on how to use the wave modifier. And so I took it a step further and I created a beach scene. So, um, I'm actually, I recorded this before and it went over 20 minutes. And so I'm only going to give you guys how to set up the scene first and then we're going to add the materials and textures. So, let's get started. File new. Hit X to delete that cube. Type in plane. Scale that 10. And subdivide. Uh, tab into edit mode. And subdivide it. 10 times and then click subdivide twice more. Uh, if you guys watched the tutorial so far, I've been following it. So, uh, here we go. The more denser the mesh, the less choppy it will look. Alright, so now let's go to modifiers and add modifier. Wave. Now, tab out of that. And as you can see, you saw the tutorial, it looks nothing like the tutorial, and I don't know why. So I had to actually play around with it and actually find a good starting point. So uh, so first we wanted to just decrease the speed to like 0.5, the height to like 0.03, the width to like 0.27, and the narrow to 1, I mean 5.43, and let's just play that, Alt A. And if I actually just recorded these from when I was messing around with it. This actually was a good, a good starting point, as you can see. <clears throat> All right. So if you have these these parameters, let's just add a sphere, UV sphere. Um, actually added a wave modifier to this one too, but just deselect these two, and you know, just along the Z it makes it look like it's bobbing. All right. And so now let's just right click on our other modifier and this is the start position to move the sphere. So if I click on the sphere and I move it, oops, and I grab it, it actually starts from somewhere else. But I don't want to do that. Alright, and now let's actually add a texture group. So just click on texture and click on text. Click on texture and click on text. And blend. So far, same as that. But actually what I found worked with me was doing a diagonal texture. Because on this side it doesn't move and that's where our beach is gonna be. Alright, so now that we have that, let's add our second plane. So just add plane again. Scale that to be ten. We actually just want to scale it. I'm actually going to go scale manipulator mode so it's along the Y. Grab that. Let's go to 1, 5, and go back to the arrow mode. Just position that. So I'm going to go 7 and rotate that 95. Negative 45. I mean. Let's go to global, I mean local coordinates, so we can just move that back along there. Just like that. And let's rotate that. Along one, rotate that. Let's go to three, rotate that down. There we go. So now let's just move that in a little more. And let's move our camera, control alt 0 to our perspective. And if we render this image, F12, we actually see waves starting to form right here. So that's what we're going for. And I'm actually going to move this over a little bit. Render that again. Yeah, waves starting to form. And I actually scale this out a little bit more. Move this over a little bit. Alt A. Oops. Alt A to play the animation. And F12. Yep, there we go. Alright, so now we want to do a couple more things. So we want to add an empty. Empties don't show up on. Whoops. 
go like that. Right click on our sphere, uh, shift S, cursor to selected. Now let's add an empty. Empties don't show up on your renders. They actually, I'm scaling that. Uh, they work like objects, but just to fill in empty spaces. Uh, so with our empty, let's go right click on our plane. And under modifiers, let's do the texture coordinate to the object and just click on your empty. Alright, so now if we alt A, the larger this is, the more pronounced the uh, waves are, just like that. Alright, so now if we render this, we get an even bigger wave. Oh, that was the wrong time to render. I'm actually going to open up timeline. You guys should already have your timeline open. Sorry, you probably didn't hear me. Uh, I'm going to open up timeline. You guys should already have it open. And just click play. And when they're most pronounced, you want to pause it. Just like that. I mean, waves aren't really choppy like you saw in my thing. In my reference image. Um, so now if you render that, it renders where you pause it, so that's good to know. Alright, that's good. So we can just smooth out our sphere, smooth out, and actually add another modifier. Add a subsurf modifier, move that up on the list. And so now if we play it, so it's actually even more smoother. Alright, let's render that. Awesome. One more thing. If you want to add a modifier to... Oh, we already added the wave modifier, didn't we? Okay. Alright, never mind. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment below and tell us how this went for you. Um, thanks.